Hello, this is David Shreve, Algebra 2 instructor with Florida Virtual School. Just going to go over, uh, had a few questions on the linear programming activity, specifically entering the graph into GeoGebra, getting that graph exported from GeoGebra and into a Word document. So I'm going to try to answer several questions uh, with uh, one recording here. But uh, when you typically open up your GeoGebra, it'll look similar to this. And uh, this bar here, if we can move it sometimes as moved over like this. I want to show more of the graph on my screen so you can grab that and move it back and forth. I have the move graphics view selected here so I can move this graph around as I see necessary and then I can also zoom in and out with my wheel on my mouse. A lot of you are using a laptop. If you're using a laptop then you, you can click this drop down arrow here at the move graphics view and you have a zoom in and zoom out options there. Okay. Now, uh, just moving along here, in this particular linear programming activity, we're really focusing only on quadrant one, so I'm going to kind of move my graph over here where we're just looking at quadrant one. And I'm also going to show grid lines. To do that, we go to view and just click on this grid option here, and now you'll see we have grid lines on our graph. Okay. So for the inequalities, uh, you notice I'm down here on the bottom left at the input bar and I want to say you know for example X is greater than or equal to 4 so I want to say X now there's no greater than or equal to um, symbol on our keyboard so but over here if you just click this character it'll open up all these options that we can enter in I'm going to say greater than or equal to 4 just hit enter and that's going to graph for me and it's also going to shade for me so it does uh, both of those for me alright now for the y inequality let's say for example y and remember I have to get the symbol over here greater than or equal to 2 and then hit enter and then one final um, graph uh, in this particular activity of course we have a uh, diagonal line as well and typically start out with that diagonal line in what's called standard form. So let's say it's 3x plus 5y and I want to say less than or equal to. Again, I, I don't have that on my keyboard so I've got to use this input here. And let's say it's uh, uh, 55 or you know, whatever your production cost may be. Hit enter and that's going to Shade there. Now my solution, of course, is where all of these shadings overlap. So let's go ahead and look at how we can enter this graph into our Word document. So we can turn it in. I'm going to go. I'm going to go through this twice. File, export, and then Graphics View to clipboard. Once again, file, and then to export graphics view to clipboard and you can pause the video if you need to see exactly what the process is there. All right, I'm just going to click on graphics view to clipboard. You notice it also lists the shortcut key there. If you prefer you can simply hit control shift C and that'll take this graph and put it on your clipboard. All right, so let's open up our Word document here you notice up here you have a paste option if you have an older version of Word you have a, a file and edit button up here on the left you can go to uh, edit and then paste or you can right click in here and you have a paste option or you can hit control V that will also paste so you can see that it's working there and now the graph is perfectly placed in our Word document Obviously, in, in the two uh, in the linear programming activity, you, know, you do want to place it at a specific uh, point. So, all right. I hope this helps. Uh, 